Hey everybody, Mike Iconelli. I'm here at the halfway point. I'm at the Bassmaster Elite Tournament at West Point Lake in Georgia. You know, super tough event this week. I mean, literally took about seven pounds a day to make the top 50 cut. I made the cut, I ended up in the 40s. I basically utilized two baits this week. And the one was real important because it let me cover a lot of water. You know, I had a tough practice, so I really didn't pinpoint the fish. And when that happens, you've got to search. And I used a crankbait. You know, I knew they were eating shad. So this week, I relied on a Rapala DT10 in a color I designed called Disco Shad. It's Ike's custom ink color, and it's a really special color. If you look at it, it's got some purple in the back. It's got a, a pearl side, but the key to it is that pale yellow belly. It's a really great imitation of a dead or dying shad. When they start dying, they get a lot of yellow in them. I used that DT-10, and one of the keys for me was covering a lot of water until I felt something hard. A lot of the banks here are red clay, so I would just cover water, but once I felt something hard, I would slow down, and that's when I'd utilize my second bait. The second bait, once I felt that hard stuff, or if I caught one, I'd come back through the area with a finesse presentation. You know, once again, shaky head worm. It's one of my favorite ways to catch them when it's tough. I used a 3 16th ounce VMC rugby head. I used a green pumpkin red flake, Berkeley Havoc bottom hopper, and I fished it real slow, shaking the rod. Caught a lot of spotted bass. This helped me fill my limit out every day to make sure I caught five. You know, the rod and reel and tackle for this stuff, on the shaky head, I used my favorite 6'6 medium heavy action Veritas spinning rod, Abu Garcia spinning rod, with a 20 size Abu Garcia Revo spinning reel, and I used the 8 pound Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon. On the crankbait, the rod was a 7 foot Abu Garcia Veritas winch cranking rod, the reel was an Abu Garcia Premier and it was in the 6 4 to 1. I went a little bit slower gear ratio, and I used 10 pound green Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon. One last tip. In a tournament like this where the fish are just slapping at the bait, instead of using two short shanks, I used a short shank, number four on the belly, but I replaced that tail hook with a VMC, number four, short shank uh, with the shore set treble on it. If you look at that, it's got that really big, unique bend. Anytime the fish are slapping at the bait, this is the hook I put on. I caught a three pounder the first day, which is a giant here, and it came on that back hook. Mike Iconelli talking about the baits I used at West Point Lake in Georgia for Tackle Warehouse.